Hey, I'm Scott Hellman, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hey, what's up? I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Scott Hellman. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so excited to be talking to you. I put your vinyl up in the front just for this interview. <laughs> awesome. So how's Iggy doing? Iggy is good. I'm in Nashville right now. Um, I actually just got off the phone with my girlfriend. She bought him a dental chew toy for him to eat and he engulfed it in one swallow. So he will not be having clean teeth. He's, uh, he's a menace to society, but he's a, a great dog and I adore him. Oh my God, he's so adorable. I'm actually worried about having children because I'm scared that if I do, I won't love them as much as I love him. So oh <laughs> that's a concern that I, that's currently happening with me so yeah but like that bond would be so cute though like the baby and the puppy I know I know it's <laughs> the pressure's on man um yeah yeah so on to old friends I mean it's such a great track it sort of reminds me of like apathy it has that sort of like angsty feel yeah um so I mean how are you feeling about this track being released I feel great about it I mean it it's it's like I, I think it's a great way to kick off like this next project I'm working on um and this next body of music like you know uh I just I'm stoked about it I love that song and I've had it in my I've had it written for ages and I just thought it was a great time to put it out so yeah and, and I I like recognize that it has that kind of energy that a song like apathy has yeah. and um and i i it felt good for me to be able to kind of return back to like return back to that like that's one of the first songs i put out and and yeah like that's part of who i am as an artist is kind of like scream, screaming into a microphone and also singing like love songs so <laughs> yeah i i'm just i'm glad i put it out and uh there's yeah more to follow so and how much fun was it like recording the song? Cause like you guys were like yelling. Oh man, that, that was a blast. Like, like I think the best part of recording that song was just like, because it started off as like this kind of like ballad and then it turned into this like banger. Like once we kind of like got to that place, it was just such a like cathartic experience to just like let go of all these feelings and just like, to scream and holler with my friends so yeah it was it was super fun and like you don't even expect like yelling to begin because it starts off like the piano and then like the na 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 like sort of thing so yeah I, yeah it turned out no I know like that's kind of how it was in the session like we were writing that song and all we had was that piano part and I thought it was just going to be a ballad which is fine but I, I kind of wanted more out of the day and like and then we just couldn't write a chorus. Like none of the choruses that we were writing like felt right. And then I just kind of stood up and screamed, I miss my old friends. And then it just turned into this like different song. And you know, that moment when you first, when you first listen to the song, like you're obviously not expecting that massive chorus. Like, and that's how I felt in the studio. Like I wasn't expecting to write that song that day. So, so really fun. Yeah. Yeah. And that song is going to be so fun to hear live too, especially to bring yeah. How yeah, I'm so like, what do you think that's gonna be like? <laughs> um, I think it's gonna be fucking insane. Like, I, I also feel like I've never had like a song that is so direct in its like just debauchery. Like that song represents chaos to me. And like I wanna I wanna make sure that when we play live, that's conveyed. So I don't know what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And um, I mean, Augusta was full of like pop tunes. Hotel de Ville is such a good like storytelling story. That makes sense. Um, and then Nonsuch Park is so good again. So what could we expect on like whether you have like another project cooking up or anything you can hint about? Yeah, I do. I have I have so much music I'm about to release. I'm just I'm actually in Nashville right now, like producing it. Um, and it's probably my best music of the last like four years. I just have or at least three, at least since hangups. Like I feel like I've held on to like all my best music just because 
I was going to put it out and then the pandemic happened. And then, you know, I, I put out like some of it, but I didn't want to like let go of all my favorite songs because it was just a weird time. And I was like, I don't think I want to put out like all my best music and then not be able to like tour it. So I put out like songs that were super personal to me and like songs that I loved and were some of my best songs. It's just like, I didn't want to drop like a full album. And that's kind of why I decided to separate it up into like two EPs that I plan to release. So it was like non such park side a, and then I was going to do side B um, or am going to do side B. But now I feel like I'm kind of in like this new place and like the pandemic is winding down and I don't know, I feel free and like unchained and I, I don't quite know what my next move and move is in terms of like how it's all going to come out and come together. All I know is I just have like a bunch of amazing songs that I'm finishing and then it's, it's, they're just going to come out. However, I feel like putting them out. So. Amazing. Well, I can't, yeah. it's going to be so good. Um, and I mean, this is a fun question. If you could perform on any planet, which one would it be and why? Ooh, any planet. Um, hmm. Well, most of the planets are gas, so Considering you'd, probably, you'd probably die. But if I was able to go to any planet and like not be crushed by the instrument mountable with gravity of that said planet, I would probably go to Venus. Yeah. No, 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 no. Saturn, Saturn, Saturn. I would go to Saturn because Saturn is so fucking crazy to me. Like it's this giant ever storming storm, like to be able to be inside of that and not die would be pretty sick. Yeah. So yeah, if I could have like all my homies and Saturn and then a bunch of people that watch me play a show in Saturn, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, would you be performing like on the rings or like on the planet? I feel like on the rings, watching the planet like storm in the background would be really rad. That's really cool. I'm digging yeah. <laughs> Um, and last question, who are your favorite artists right now? Remy Wolf, Dominic oh Pike. Oh my god, love Remy um, Wolf. Have you heard Remy oh. Wolf and Dominic Pike's like collab? Yeah, that's why I paired them in my brain, but like they're both <laughs> separately so dope. Um, I really like like Machine Gun Kelly a lot. Like I know, I know he's like ascended to the top of the heap, but like I just really appreciate, I think, the bravery in, in what he's doing, like, in terms of, like, it's sort of genreless to me. Um, so I think that's really cool for, for art, like, for the culture. Um, yeah. Uh, I, and Claro has always been amazing to me. But her last record that I heard was just, like, a different kind of amazing. I don't know. There's something that happens to, to artists sometimes as they age it's like they get more comfortable with themselves and you can hear it in the music and like I don't know Clara personally and I don't know what she's up to but it sounds to me like that's what's happening and like there's just like this beautiful confidence in her writing that I I like look up to and when with, with her latest song like when I heard it I was like I mean I'm a sucker for like the harmonies and mm -hmm. and like anything Simon and Garfunkel ask is like my vibe, but also just like, it sounds like she knows what she wants out of her art. And I, I, I think that's really attractive and like just a, a really like, that, that's something that all artists should seek out. So she's, I have high praise for Clara. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me again. It was so much fun to get to meet you again. <laughs> yeah, you too.